Hey folks, this is Bardic Dragoon. Welcome back to Let's Play Parasite Eve. When we last left off, we got pretty much wrecked by a, a retread of the... What's it called? Centipede Boss. So, we are... Why did I do that? <laughs> because, yeah, I suppose my... Uh, Health and armor aren't where they should be, but I think starting here, enemies will prop start giving a uh, proper amount of experience to uh, make this viable. At least I hope so, because actually you now the next boss shouldn't be too bad. Main problem with the centipede was just the fact that he was stupidly fast, and like the idea behind avoiding the centipede is kind of obvious, but actually executing on it is a lot harder than it seems. Especially, well, until you take out about, like, two or three of the uh, individual sections once it breaks apart. But, that's all in the past now, as are all my revives. I spent so long getting all those revives. Now, it's time to get into the 31st through 40th floor. And, unfortunately, since my... I apparently goofed somewhere on using the rare trading card. We don't have a lot of improvements to our gun yet. Of course, new set of floors, new set of enemies. And we are going to die. Yep. Price of building got serious just now. It definitely just got serious. All right, well, this should be entertaining. Oh, by right. Left turn, or right turn, sorry. And then a down turn. So... And then another left turn. And the random encounter to boot. Oh, you guys again. Are you... <laughs> I'll dispose of the... Because we're, we're jumping into the inventory because I'm taking damage. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so one of two floor options here. Depend what kind of three-way intersection we see next. But first, let's grab some items. A tool. Very useful. Another survive. Wait. Uh, just a stronger version of it, huh? Okay. Well, then we'll start it out. Right. Rockets. So much love for rockets. And a defense plus one. Okay. Okay, you have better bonus stats. That property from you. Go. All right. By the way, I'm carrying on those two pieces of armor mostly to make it easier when I get to the point where I'm. They should, by the end of this video, have the toolkit finally. Okay, so it's an up and down intersection. Okay, that should be a fairly straightforward shot then. Okay, I'm sorry. 
But yeah, because the last one, I'm guessing I must have only used one of the cards once. Because I didn't get the toolkit yet. So, hope, so I should hopefully be getting it uh, after this video. I hope so. Otherwise I've been reading wrong information and I have to go find someone to punch on the internet. I suppose there are far more important things to do with my life, but, you know, I want to go punch people on the internet. <laughs> They're not just random people. I want to go track down specific people and punch them in the face. second floor. And oh, the right turn, really. Making the right turns today, isn't it? Okay, and then we're straight away. Which is still a good selection of possible maps here. But we've got this straight away. Okay, let's first fight a random encounter, then we'll see where the downturn takes us. Okay, so is it throwing new encounters at us, or old encounters? I can't tell. Alright, still one tentacle plant left, or tentacle shrubbery, whatever the those things are. Vibes are gone. It's <laughs> ah, depressing. Okay. Uh, anyway, no oh, right. Trying to figure out where I was. Um, okay. Two possibilities given this. So this should, next one should either be a turn down or a three way. And it's a three way. Okay. So that tells us where we are, and it's a nice, easy, straightforward shot. Okay. I can live with that. Healing item would have been nice. I, I like healing items game. You can feel free to give them to me. I know I've been throwing them out before, but I, I, I'm, I'm going to take on the healing items now. No, I, I'm cool with that. <sighs> the game's not going to listen to me, is it? Yay, we're a trading card. Yay, a gun that I have no use for, except to serve as fodder. Well, actually, no. Add the inventory. Yay, another tra rare trading card. Yay, bonus stats. <laughs> Nope, not enough to actually dump the uh, ammo from that gun into there, so we'll keep going. You know, I am half tempted to go take the elevator that's going to be on the next screen here down and get my toolkit and start beefing up my weapons. But I'm not going to do that. Mostly because it's not going to do me much good. All right. Actually, not so much that it's not going to do me any good. It's more so that it's just going to take extra time in what's already going to be a long video. There's no point in cutting here. This is too short, and if I don't have this part on camera, then the next video would be weird. People wouldn't know what's happening. I mean, logical assumptions could be made, and I can explain it, 
And I don't, you know, you guys really wouldn't be missing much. The Chrysler building is just kind of a giant mess, really. All right, 33rd floor. 20% of the way through this set of, uh, T intersection, interesting. Uh, through this set of the uh, Chrysler building. And with a T intersection, let's see what happens. We go this way. Straight away. Or possibly dead end. Hard to tell. Um, if it is a straight away, it's going to lead to a dead end. Because if it's a dead end, which I'm pretty sure actually this is a dead end. And I'm pretty sure this is a random encounter. Of course, that's kind of obvious by this point. to a level up here. Come on. If I get that level up, I am putting all the bonus points into my armor. Because it's obvious at this point. Okay, wait. No, that is a straightaway. Hmm. That was looking like a dead end to me. So I guess it was a straightaway. In which case, I need to go this other direction then. That's fun. Fun, fun, fun. There's something. goes down, pretty much kind of just loops around here. Okay. Yeah, because my gun is still overpowered. To say the least, then it's going to be getting soon. It's going to be getting a pretty decent beef up, so you know I, I should be focusing on armor right now. already being caught in the actual spray pattern, but that chameleon just, after the first shot, jumping in right into there, so I just lined up everything was kind of sad. I mean, worked well for me, to say the least, but just really not the brightest moment of uh, enemy AI there, to say the least. Okay. Yes. Then that should be a three-way intersection. Which will ignore the down path, because that just leads to a dead end. And then an elevator! Then... There we go, treasure room. Damn, a monster! Thankfully, I can start refilling my supply revives, so that's good. Get away from me and go to sleep. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Let's just let this sit here for a moment and see how high this board is. I mean, I could just press X and it'll tell me that amount it goes up anyway, but, you know, let's just see. Take a few moments to relax here and just watch that counter go up. Okay, that board. Yay for slow leveling. Definitely yay for slow leveling. I mean, good googly moogly. Oh. Also, my HP went up because it was a level up, so... Yeah, you get some stupid HP gains at the later level ups, don't you?
Still don't have enough to just dump that gun I'm not using. Okay. Well. There we go. All right. Very nice. Let's see. Carry it over. Your stats. I already got the two. So go. All right. So my armor is now much stronger. I mean, considering I just put almost. Well, actually, yeah, I just put 39 points into the armor, which almost 25% increase in the amount in the power of my armor here. So I should be less squishy and easily killable. That that's a good thing, definitely. Actually, no, it's probably more of a. You can't hurt me now! My armor is stupidly strong again! Yay! Goals in life! I probably am doing it wrong. Oh well. Oh, this is 23 or 33? I don't even know what floor we're on anymore. You know, I had like a little thing in the corner there that told you what floor you're on. I think things a little bit easier to keep track of. Then again, I think the whole point of this game, this section being randomized, is to kind of make you get lost. So, okay, well, it's the right turn. No, oh, just that little iguana, whatever the heck, poppy things are. There we go. Start building up my supply of healing items. Because, okay, these little random encounters aren't hurting me, but, you know, that doesn't mean much for the long run. Okay, oh, oh. Storage room right here. Oh, only one possible floor plan that we can go, go off of from here, so. What do we have here? Wait. Bring it on! Go to sleep! Yeah! Alright! There we go. I can dump all the ammo out of this gun. Not that it's really a big deal, but I I, I don't know. Like I I could just dump the ammo in there. I've got you know so much ammo right now that it not doesn't really matter. Oh wait, this is a little bit more than it. Awesome. Okay. Well, whatever. But yeah. It's not like I need to, like, you know, make every piece of ammo count and stockpile ammo like a crazy person. Also, I should have healed after the fighting the critter box there.
but yeah, with three trading cards, I'm guessing it was five, but I wasn't at ten yet, but I'm probably at like eight or nine. So I'm going to be at 14, 14 still, so yes, that's good. I'm not even paying attention to the map, what am I doing? Oh yeah, it's a pretty straightforward map, never mind. For a few, like, twisted turns, I'm not that. Aha! This is a pretty straightforward map. But yeah, considering the boost that my armor just got, and like I said, if I can get the super tool kit, then that is going to give me some pretty big boost, mostly to my weapon. So I'll finally be able to craft my ultimate weapon. Yeah, the, yeah I've got all the properties that I own up. There's one, I'm, there's one or two I'm missing. Could have gone better. Could have gone a lot worse, though. Got the medicine twos available. Now we're building up a pretty good stockpile of medicine trees, so not gonna be too upset using them. But yeah, because there's two properties I think I'm missing to craft my ultimate gun. You pose no threat. To me. Oh hey, I didn't even see the chameleon. There. Alright, well, we're building up our supply of healing items. Not so much more durable. Like I said, that was a 33% increase to my original armor stat. But the game does not throw so many random encounters at me. about a hundred points per encounter that I'm getting. So that'll be about 30 fights. It's gonna be a pretty good chunk of uh, BP again. So there's that. That's cool. Okay. Freeway intersection. We want to go right. And then I believe it's up here. Yes, up. But yeah, I mean, if you guys haven't figured it out by this point, this game is... Even though its battle system does have enough room for, like, dodging and things like that, this is a battle system that is all about numbers, really. Or a game that's all about numbers and, you know, equipment. Like that. off my health here. I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, hey, my gun's starting to run low on ammo, though. Better uh, fix that. Okay, up. Right. Then we'll just keep going up. The next should be a four-way intersection. Has anyone actually been to the Chrysler building? Is it really this maze-like? I mean, what is the Chrysler? I know it's like a really big building. Like, it's one of those, like, people always talk about, like, the Empire State Building being one of the 
biggest buildings out there, at least it was back when it was made. Since then, there's like a dozen different things that have it beat, I'm pretty sure. But is like the Chrysler building really this obnoxiously like maze-like? I doubt it. That seems like poor uh, design for an actual building. Like an RPG dungeon, this is great design. But like if you're actually trying to build a place for people to live, work, whatever the heck goes on in there, this seems like a very bad idea for your design. This is going to be one of those twisty ones, isn't it? Yeah. So, there's three possibilities. Okay. Now, now it's either going to be turn down or straight away. Turn down. Okay, that leads us to two possibilities. Okay, so that's the map we're on. That was a short one, thankfully. For 35th floor that we're at? 34 or 35, I know it's one of those two. Over here, and there should be an elevator, and then immediately after that, storage room. Hey, I got it right this time. I didn't call it a treasure room. Just throwing the rare trading cards at us like crazy. I am not complaining though. M one nine eleven eight five. Do I have a tool? I do not. So we'll just Okay. Then this way. This way. And this way. There should be a turn up and a straight shot. Of course. I, have we had a random encounter on this floor yet? Heck yeah! Take all of the items! All of them! Yep, there we go. There's the exit and our way to the, I think, 36th floor that we're heading up to. Okay, so then it's left turn time. Another random encounter. Because it has, you know, it's only been two or three screens since the last one.
think I've filled up my inventory, actually. Just, just encourage me. Yeah, with way more medicine threes than I actually. And a medicine too. I don't know why I have that medicine. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and down. Is it gonna be a straightaway? Yep, straight away. Okay. Right. And then storage room. Yep, there we go. And what do we have here? Ooh, range plus three, that's nice. I mean, I, my inventory's full. Yeah, my inventory's full. I, I, it seems like that should have been an obvious statement. What do you mean by my inventory's full? To put simply, your inventory is full, but you know, let's try that again. Eh, another item that we're going to just throw into the furnace for uh, more stat bonuses. You know, that, that's cool and all. Okay, next screen is going to be an elevator. Then a straightaway for a turn up, then a straightaway and an exit. any of that. I have too much medicine 3 as it is. So much so that even though it's a gross overkill, I need to take a medicine 3. Just so I can free up some space in our inventory. Alright, on to the 37th floor. What's the 37th floor? 37th floor happens. Hmm. A right turn. Or sorry, left turn. Okay. And a downward. Okay, there's only one possibility for this, so that makes this easy. So the map itself is a little obnoxious, but damn. I say 37 or 38. I think they said this is 37. Okay, return here. Return here. Here. Past the elevator. Great. Turn down. Even though the elevator is up, but we haven't hit the storage room yet. Because it's located really stupidly. Yep, okay, I'm overpowered again. All it took was one level up's worth of BP, though admittedly that was a pretty insane amount of BP from that level up. I mean, 38,000. Probably a little over 38,000, because a little under, I guess, because spending 38,000 left me with only 20-something when I started with, I think, 90-something. I don't know. But yeah, as I said, this game is very much a game of numbers, as much as, if not more than skill. Which... Isn't, I don't have a problem with that, as it gives you a lot of ways to manipulate the numbers, so, you know, there's essentially 
a test of skill in figuring out how best to use the numbers. So that's cool. So we can just pump the ball ahead. Alright, starting to fill up our inventory again with revives. Which is good after all the ones that we used uh, the last video. Still can't believe we went through that many revives. Oh well. Hmm, that is some good stats to pass on to another piece of equipment, definitely. Alright, now let's head for the exit. But yeah, they're saying, because it's one of those things like numbers based RPGs. There is arguably something less of like, you know, you don't need to put as much skill if you have the numbers right. But at least in, you know, if it's designed well, a numbers-based RPG, you can at the very least have a lot of room for, you know, putting the numbers to use for you and having, you know, strategy based around that. So that's definitely cool. Which is what Parasite Eve gives you a lot of ways to manipulate the numbers, but yeah. It arguably doesn't really factor in how much you can manipulate the numbers or really, I mean, this, this game probably isn't very, but then again, Squaresoft and balanced RPGs aren't things that existed until, I would say, the PS2 era. And actually, I'd say Chrono Trigger was probably pretty well balanced, but Chrono Trigger is kind of the golden boy that this is what every RPG should be in a perfect world. So, you know, that that's kind of to say like, oh, well, Chrono Trigger did it right. Uh, Chrono Trigger more or less did everything right. So that's, you know... Really not an argument or statement worth making, but I digress. Uh, I mean, Square Enix, or, well, not, they weren't Square Enix yet. Squaresoft, like, all of their games tend to have pretty broken strategies. I mean, well, I'm not... Okay, well, I'm not paying attention. That was a downward turn, so that leaves us... Oh, not another one of these little twisty snake paths here. No, okay. Decent. So. Right. right turn, down turn, right turn, and crater. Hmm, I don't think enough there's like two maps that actually fit the description of what we're seeing right now. But the uh, next room, after, well, after we clear out this treasure room here, should tell us what one we're looking at. Not another evil donut mimic! I didn't pick up that revive, damn it. <sighs> oh well, I suppose it could be worse. Ah, there we go, tool. Let's clear up some inventory space. I don't want to use a super. Get really good stats. of you that so that was a good move but not picking up that revive was a stupid move yeah well all right so what's here this next turn ah three-way all right so we go down if i can avoid walking into walls hmm There we 
go. Oh, hey. Hi, weird iguana thing. Nah. Not learning my lesson. I'm just gonna pick up some more medicine threes because I can. Okay, that's straight away here. I need glasses. Oh well. I'll live without it for a few for a little while. There's our elevator! Is this 38 or 39? I think it's 38. And we'll see when we get to the next floor. And again, I mean, that one revive isn't going to be too much of a hassle. The game's going to be throwing us lots of revives. Because there's going to, of course, be more donut mimic things. As we uh, go through the tower here, so... You know, missing out on one isn't going to kill us. Don't wander out of my range. Let me kill you. That, which we're ignoring. We're going to keep going doing the windy, twisty thing. It took two shots to kill that cat rather than three. Uh, maybe they were both crits or something like that. Okay, so this should be 39, I think. And eh, let's see. Of course, the obligatory entrance panel, our entrance room, with a T intersection. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so it's over here. Okay, downward turn. It's, uh... Well, I wasn't expecting a random encounter, that's for sure. Oh. 
I can actually just click the pizza straight away. It means I was about to make a big mistake. If it's a straight away, then that means this is actually a really nice, easy, straightforward floor layout. SG-1. Hey, I know that gun. I don't know guns, but I know that gun. Thank you, Metal Gear Solid, for making for making me aware of guns. Not really sure that's a thing that's all that great, but hey, you know, a ah, tool, good. Okay, so two. And one point extra attack, one extra point of attack power than much. Straight shot to the exit, and next stop should be floor number 40. Let's see, last time around I think it must be okay. I think. I don't know. I've kind of stopped trying to, like I said, uh, I believe I said, uh, Back when I first started to notice that there might be a pattern, I'm not really a big music y kind of person. So, like me noticing the music, it's like, hey, it's, it's, it's good music. It's, uh, I don't know if I'd say this is good music, this is okay music. Uh. in my life form of cure twos or medicine twos whatever the heck they're called okay now just don't want us Why are you not dead? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I think I should pick those up. Okay, next up should be the storage room. Final one for this set of levels. What do we have in here? Ah, 
has been a while since we've bought something in one of these rooms that wasn't a uh, evil donut mimic. Huh. Kind of odd. Oh yeah, we've maxed out our inventory. We better start emptying it out then. Ooh, full recover. That's the best option we've got, so there we go. All right, next should be the elevator, then a four way turn, which we will go south. Right, then straight, then up. Then right again, then up again, then left. Boss fight time! Time for another retread. Triceratops! He, of course, speeds up as he did before. All right. Medicine three. Believe this at almost full health. Another medicine three and a couple of bullets. Okay, so he still hurts a lot, but considering the fact that he attacks much less frequently in rapid succession than the centipede, he ultimately comes off a bit easier. Yes. There we go. I didn't even need to heal. Oh, hey! Wow, two level ups in one video. Lots of bonus points, too. Heck yeah. All right. So, with that, that is... We are now at the 40th floor. Which we're, of course, going to now backtrack a little bit and go back and get out of the Chrysler building here, because this has been a really good run, actually. So... Yeah, and I think I'm going to be coming back next video more powerful than before. There more powerful than currently. I'm already more powerful than I was before, but you know what I'm saying. I hope. Meanwhile, I gotta decide what I want to do with these bonus. Ah, 
I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait on these because, like I said, I should be getting at least the toolkit, hopefully the super toolkit, uh, off camera here. So, I should hopefully... Because I should have enough cards to get, like I said, one or the other, if not both. Oh, uh, wait. Elevator over this way. So, hopefully I can, like, really beef up my weapon. And if so, then, yeah, it's going to be all going into the armor. Because we haven't yet come across the base component piece for our uh, super power arm or super powered armor here. So I'm going to be holding out for like beefing up the armor too much. Well, they're going to be beefing it up a lot, but it's not going to be as plausible as what is the word I'm looking for? That's not plausible. Uh, I don't know. It's been almost an hour that I've been recording this, so my brain might be a little fried by this point. So I suppose we'll call it a day. Tune in next time for the 41st through 50th floors of the Chrysler building, where we finally uh, get to stop having to deal with retreads of boss fights. Sort of. Anyway, until then, as always, later folks. <laughs>